Hey folks, welcome to our Musky segment. We've got Chaz Martin with hey, me. Hey Joe, thanks man. From Musky Mastery Guide Service. Chaz is a, a regular guest on the television show and he's also, really folks, this guy here is instrumental in a lot of the great things that happen on our TV series and Chaz and I are in one of our annual trips and we're fishing cabbage beds with wind pounding into them in bays. And when we have wind pounding in, well even when there's not wind pounding in, one of the things you and I like to do is reach out, stay way out and reach out and get them. And I think that's one of the mistakes people make. In fact, I, I would, I'd mentioned that several times earlier this year when I was fishing yes. with guys that they get so tight that they're over the fish. You're, you're, the boat's actually almost on top of the fish. Yes. And you don't give the fish enough time to overtake the bait and actually uh, right. attack it. And I think the other thing is you actually spook them. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, you're too definitely. close. Definitely. And, and what's the hurt? in you know just casting the outside perimeter anyway and taking your time even though, especially you know it's a good spot like you knew this one was you know that that's a guide talking there folks and and that that's true is when you come into these spots don't be in such a big hurry you know ease your way in stay out there lay those long bombs and feel your way into a spot like that and you're going to catch those edge perimeter fish like the one you're going to watch right now That's where that fish came from, right there. There was nice tassels of cabbage on the surface. That fish was right there, dude. You know there's a big one in here, dude. There's gotta be, man. Better keep us out a little bit. Dude, Wait, you grab the net. Yep. Oh, hook really good, dude. Oh, really? Really nice, good, man. Really good. Oh. Good fish. Oh, yep. Excellent. Oh yeah. There's the guy baby. netting there the fish. There she is. See, oh, right, you're Joe. one of the only people I trust with netting Beautiful. fish. Yeah. That's a beauty, dude. That is a great fish, man. Oh. Nice job. Nice job. All right. I love it, man. You had fishing with my, my buddy, Chaz Martin. Dude, running the boat. <laughs> Easy. I like the way you just did that. You went, I'm going to ease her back out of here so we don't come in there. And also, boom. And like you said, you know, it's important waiting for the waiting for you know two-person job getting that fish in the net man it's oh you did great we were talking about i mean about just that, fabulous I, mean. I think i'll put that glove on so i'm just uh playing it safe here early in the trip i would yeah yeah let's do that all right my friend nice job dude you know what's funny folks is i'm a huge fan of painted blades this time of the day. All right, the last couple hours of daylight in stained water, I go from being a, if it's, even if it's sunny out, if it's overcast, I'm all over painted blades. But if it's sunny out, as soon as you start getting those shadows, I prefer the painted blade. Okay, you just settle down now. We're gonna get this hook out of you real nice. It's gonna back out just perfect. One of the beauties of the old original Booker Till design is the one big treble. Hooks fish better, hooks fish solid in that best spots, and, and you can get them on hook nice. Oh, 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 I love it, I love it, I love it. I've only been out an hour or so with the dude, Chaz Martin. Hot bucktails, man. Lay it out there and just let it rip. And what happened in this, this situation here is stay way outside and throw long casts. We'll see you next week. <laughs>